I want bum 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 bum. When I went to school, I was really good at literature. My essays and stories were simply perfect. I guess that's because I've been great in talking nonsense since birth. The main thing is to put on a smart face so that people take you seriously. Uh-huh. Speaking of serious stuff, like my video and subscribe to the channel. It rocks. You'll have fun, I promise. Once we started a newspaper at our school. A newspaper. Uh-huh. Some students still couldn't count to 10. Why in the world would we need a newspaper? Who will be reading it? What happened was our supervisor caught me in some corner after school and offered me to work in the newspaper. Not much of an offer, to be honest. How about you work for our new newspaper, Claire? What? Work? No thanks. There will be a lot of writing. You like that, don't you? How much? Trying to count articles. Let me think. Hmm. No, how much will I be paid for that? What? Free of charge? I do nothing for free. And she says she'd give me a B for my last essay. I'm not surprised. They're greedy people. They could at least pay me with grades. One article is one A+. Uh-huh. I'm not going to agree to anything for less than that. And you'll be the main person there. You'll be an editor-in-chief. You mean the very main person, the big boss? Uh-huh. In the end, I fell for it. And screwed up big time. Simply because it turned out there was no one working there except me. It meant I was the only boss and only subordinate, and I had to do everything by myself. What a bummer. Hey Harry, what's up? I need to talk to you. No, 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 don't even try. You still owe me money from last time. Grudge holder, are you? A new academic year means new rules. Whatever happened last year stays there, dude. Got me? So I offered Harry to work with me at the newspaper. Harry was thrilled. I was being sarcastic, by the way. No, I will have to work all the time. I'm already very busy. I have to survive this year somehow. No time for other stuff. Just think about it. You'll be the main person there. You mean the big boss? Almost. Uh, you'll be a deputy of editor-in-chief. Shoot. All right, done deal. Anyways, Harry was shocked to learn that there was no one there except us. So, he brought another two people. That was much better. We finally got some people to command. We decided to start off with an interview. We caught... Oh, I mean we invited our local celebrity, Richie, a rough troublemaker. Richie repeated the grade a bazillion times, more times than all school loafers together. A perfect person for an interview. Richard, what are your impressions of today's test? I thought it was tough stuff. No one expected that, and we haven't studied that topic. Really? Please go on. This rat didn't tell us we'd have to take a test. She ruined my birthday. Don't write that rat word. Yeah, keep going, please. We finally published a newspaper, but Richie didn't like something. What is that, Claire? Is there something you don't like? I told you something different. What was that? Richie was happy about the math test. He said it was his best birthday gift ever. Huh? I didn't say anything like that. This is a literary device. <laughs> Understand? Silly. Richard telling me how to work? Uh-huh. Over my dead body. You gotta write the whole thing over. Listen, if you don't stop this now, I'll write in the next article that you're picking your nose when you're nervous. How did you know that? Boom. Hit the bullseye. To put it short, Richie didn't get on my nerves anymore. But other guys who were helping us with the newspaper said we should write more cool stuff. We need some scoops. Our newspaper is failing. Exactly! We need to write something really cool. Listen, I haven't seen our geography teacher for a while. I heard she was bitten by some cat, or a dog, and she's in the hospital right now. How about we write about that? Hmm, sounds interesting. So we wrote an article about the geography teacher and published another newspaper issue and the fun started. Claire, the principal wants to talk to you. The principal? Finally, at least someone appreciated my work and sleepless nights. I guess I'm about to get awarded for putting so much effort into the school newspaper. What is that, Claire? This is, uh, hmm, a newspaper? How in the world could you write that geography teacher did not come to school because she was bitten by tigers? Well, rumors are there. Actually, they say she was bitten by cats. Cats! Exactly. The real story is quite different. Do you have something to say? How about an interview, completely anonymous? <clears throat> so, the article about the geography teacher was the last article in our newspaper. We were done. The principal said I certainly had talent, but suggested I save it for something else. Psh! You haven't seen the face of the geography teacher when she got back to school and read the article. <laughs> that was the story. 
Write your cool stories in the comments and hit the bell to turn on notifications to stay updated. This was Claire. Bye bye Shoot, we should have written that she was bitten by wolves rather than tigers. This way we could also add that she's a werewolf.